Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to improve your Fire Stick Wi-Fi performance with the new updated network tools built directly into the newer Fire TV devices. One of the biggest complaints that we see from Fire Stick users is buffering and this is usually brought on by poor download speeds. This integrated set of tools is meant to help with that problem. Now, this hasn't rolled out to all models, so prior to doing this, I suggest going into settings, moving down, click My Fire TV, click About, and then click Check for Updates. Go ahead and install any updates that are available. Keep going through this process until you see the screen on the right that says your Fire TV is up to date. I'm using a Fire TV Stick 4K Max and I have received the update that allows for this. Now to use this new set of tools, what you want to do is hover over settings, go into network, and you want to highlight the current wireless network that you're connected to. As you'll see there, it's at the top. For me, it's Walnut Base 5 V2. I'm going to highlight that. And then on the right side, you're going to see it says press the play pause button to check network status. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is run a speed test. The network download speed test has finished. You'll see that I have 354 megabits per second. I also want to point out at the top, it shows that this is on the 5 gigahertz network of my Wi-Fi router. Some routers come with both a 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band. We'll get to that here in a little bit, but that's important to point out. Now, 354 megabits per second is a very strong download speed. I'm lucky that I have gigabit internet plan in my area. Now, some of you may be using Analyti speed test to test the download and upload speeds on your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube. I do want to move over to that application and talk about that briefly. And you're going to notice here there's a pretty big discrepancy in the download speed. For the network tools built into the Fire Stick, it said 354 megabits per second, and this here says 315. It's important to point out that these applications all use different servers to measure that. And typically, the further that the server is from your location, the slower the download speed will be. So sometimes it's a good idea to try using another application to test that speed. And the great thing about this is that you can get the Analyti speed test tool through the Amazon App Store for free. Now, while I'm in here, I do want to point out the table that's showing on this screen. It shows that I can stream 8K content with the speeds I'm currently getting. Now we always see people complaining about their download speeds, but in reality, all you need is 20 to 30 megabits per second to stream 4K content. And for 1080p, all you need is approximately 10. And by having the speeds that I do, that is simply overkill on streaming devices like this. It's not going to do anything for me. As long as I can check off the 4K streaming on this device, that's really all I need. I don't stream 8K video. That's kind of a thing that's going to be coming in the future. And the additional 290 megabits per second isn't doing anything for me. So don't get too hung up on download speed. Okay, now that we've tested that, I'm going to go back to the home screen. I'm going to go back into the network section, highlight my wireless connection, and then click the play pause button again. There's something else in here that we can look at, and that's under the advanced tab. Now the section I'm looking at now is network quality. And I'm going to briefly explain what each of these is. Signal strength. This is measured in decibel milliwatts, which is abbreviated as DBM. Now the higher the number, the better. So negative 25 would be better than negative 75. You'll see I'm currently sitting at approximately negative 50 or negative 51. And that's still showing my signal strength is high, which is good. 
And this is how strong the Wi-Fi signal is between your wireless router and your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube. You can try moving your router closer to your Fire Stick or vice versa. Now, one thing I do want to point out is I did mention earlier that I'm currently connected to my 5 gigahertz band. Typically, on routers that provide both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, you're going to get faster speeds with 5 gigahertz. However, you're not going to be able to cover as much distance with that band. So common sense would tell me if I switched over to the 2.4 gigahertz band, I'm going to see my signal strength increase. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to click the home button, hover over settings, go into network. So Walnut Base 5 V2 is my 5 gigahertz band. And I know that Walnut Base is my 2.4 gigahertz band. So I'm going to connect to this one. All right, it's connected. Now I'm going to click the play pause button on my remote, move down, click advanced. And now you're going to see the signal strength has improved. Remember, the higher the number, the better the signal strength. So I went from negative 50 or negative 51 down to negative 36. That's a substantial increase. So for those of you with dual band Wi-Fi routers, this is definitely something you want to test. All right, let's talk about noise. This is also measured in decibel milliwatts. The lower the number, the better. So negative 75 would be better than negative 25. This is the amount of background noise on the same Wi-Fi radio frequency as your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube. It's caused from other electronics interfering with your Wi-Fi network. And you're going to see mine is listed as average. And that's probably due to the fact that I'm sitting in a room with all kinds of electronic gadgets plugged in. If I moved around and unplugged a lot of these gadgets, more than likely that noise variable would improve. So a few things that you can try doing is to turn off various electronic devices near your Fire Stick or move them away from your device. As I did earlier, you can also try changing the Wi-Fi band that you're connecting to. I could try switching back to 5 gigahertz to see if that would improve. Now, before I go on to the two additional settings on the screen, I would like to invite you to get my free supercharged Fire TV guide that will show you how to install secret applications that aren't available in the Amazon App Store. You can get my free guide by clicking the link in the video description or pinned comment below. You can also get it by opening a browser on your phone, tablet, or computer and go to troypoint.com forward slash SG. I'm also displaying a QR code on the screen so you can also scan that with the camera app on your phone or tablet and that will also take you to the registration page for my free guide. All right, the next quality reading is channel utilization. This is measured in percentage. The lower the number, the better. So 25% is better than 75%. And you'll see in my situation, I'm sitting at 20% and that is low. So that is a good reading. This is based on how full your current Wi-Fi channel is that you're connected to. You can try changing the channel that your Wi-Fi router is using to see if that helps. Now I'm going to switch over to the administration dashboard of my wireless router so you can see exactly how this works. I am using the Asus GTAX 11000. This is my primary router. And you'll see that I am currently on my dashboard. And I can get to this through my browser on my computer. And that's what I'm using in this situation. And all I'm going to do is move down, click wireless, and you're going to see the different bands that I currently have set up on this router. Again, getting back to what we discussed earlier, there's two different bands. I've got two 5 gigahertz bands set up and one 2.4 gigahertz. Now on my router, you'll see here a setting called control channel. This is currently set to auto. It says my current control channel is set to nine. Now many routers do have an auto setting, but just like a lot of things, sometimes that's not going to be your optimal setting. And you can come in here, try changing 
to these different channels, go back into the network tools in the Fire Stick that you're using, and then test and see if that helps the channel utilization. Now, after changing this, I'd obviously go to the bottom of this page and click the Apply Settings button. Now, I can also go into my 5 gigahertz bands and do the same thing. You'll see here under Control Channel on my 5 gigahertz band, I am now on channel 36, and I could change that right here, pick what I want, and then click Apply Settings at the bottom. Okay, and the last one we want to cover is Signal to Noise Ratio. This is measured in simple numerical format from 0 to 100. Higher is better, so 75 would be better than 25. This value represents the difference between your signal strength and noise level. So obviously, once you improve your signal and or noise numbers, this will change as well. We just covered what both of those settings do and how to improve them. And you'll see my signal to noise ratio is currently at average. It's going between average and high. If I tried to improve the noise component by turning off a bunch of the electronics around my Fire TV stick, more than likely that would improve the signal to noise ratio reading. Now the last thing I wanna leave you with is this option here, configure data monitoring. You're gonna see that this is currently turned off for me. And the reason I have this off is because I don't want Amazon seeing what types of data I'm currently using on my device. Now, if you have a cap set by your internet provider, maybe they say you can only consume 100 gigabytes per month, this might be a good option for you. You can turn this on and you can also come in here and set video quality. So if you change this to good, the video quality isn't going to be as good, but you're not going to use as much bandwidth. So you're not gonna reach your cap as quickly. You can set a data alert. So let's assume your cap is 100 gigabytes. You could come in here, set this at 75, and then you will receive an alert once your Fire Stick has consumed 75 gigabytes of data. That's a pretty cool feature for those of you with data caps on your internet plan. And then this here just provides you with information on the various applications that are pulling in the most data. So that is how you can improve your Wi-Fi performance on your Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, and Fire TV televisions. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to visit me at troypoint.com where you will find hundreds of Fire Stick and Android TV box secret tutorials that will never be published here on YouTube. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I drop new tutorials like this in the future. Have a great day, and thanks for following Troy Point.